I've had brackets before. Nice, nice. I haven't seen them before. I was, I was really sick last semester, so like I didn't come at all, and I was uh, just like a stream monster. Okay, okay. So I like have been watching from afar. Three, yeah. Three, <laughs> two, one, go! Let's start on Pokemon Stadium. Interesting choice. Um, not necessarily bad for either character. Uh, DK is going to be getting kills off the top off the cargo throws pretty, pretty early. Uh, and since the stage is so long, one of the weaknesses DK does have is his recovery is pretty exploitable. If you do have a nice um, downward hitbox, the stuff that sends that low angle, like Zelda down there would probably do the trick. Zelda's got uh, her aerials reach a lot farther than one might think. Mm -hmm. um, you can't you can't trade with her forward air or your back air. You're going to get off stage. Yes. And uh, that's the opposite of what Donkey Kong was. Right, um, so let's see if he can get this. Oh, no, okay. But American Bowser choosing to go high. Not a bad idea at all. Avoid those hitboxes from Zelda. And Donkey Kong's Nair is so good, it doesn't even matter like which side you get. He died from it. Huh. <laughs> he got like the weak <laughs> back hit and he still died. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Sassy kind of gave him the ledge there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna put more corner pressure in. Yeah, it's it's kind of scary sometimes to challenge the DKOP since you know a lot of times you have to go upstage yeah. for it and hitboxes are so big, but the rewards are so huge. There we go. But speaking of rewards, those sweet spotted kicks will definitely be killing people, even from center stage on this stage. Yeah, if, I, if uh, Donkey Kong misses his forward air, he's gonna get punished. Mm -hmm. It's uh, more of a read. You shouldn't really do those in neutral. Yes. Yeah. Very slow startup. Okay. I like that he jabbed the fireball. Yes. Very smart. Ooh, Ooh. Okay. Traded with something, but it was definitely worth it. Yeah, I think uh, Jake, uh, American Bowser, kind of called out that uh, he wasn't going to DI any better. He was just like, I'm going to put this here, and if you don't up beat now, you're going to die. Nice conversion off the Dins fire off stage, but. Ooh, dang. Pulling out the kick early to beat the neutral air. Yeah, right there, he got kicked off stage. Uh, not able to edge guard, too far away. Okay, cutting off options with Fireball, it's a good idea. Yep, yeah, lots of tricky stuff that Zelda can do with that. Okay. Oh, interesting. It seems like Zelda's floating enough that the cargo combos don't really work as well as you might expect. Yeah, he like ran all the way up there and did 12 damage. Yeah. That. It, was, it was just kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, like barely, barely reached the tip of the up air. Probably might not be able to kill off of it. Possibly why Sassy was okay with going to this stage. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way. Well, nice call on the kick, but doesn't work in the same spot. Or Tilt, or tilt did not kill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would have been very, very surprised if that was killed. Nice reaction up the out of shield. That hitbox starting from the top hits super, super hard really fast. Okay. Jake's looking a little nervous. He's forward airing a lot. Oh, oh my. Okay. Creative. Oh, Slow get up. Not oh. optimal. Yeah, if he had jumped up with an aerial, it probably would have been the end of that. Yeah, stock. just let top off. Oh, okay. Probably missed input. Lots of strange trades happening. Yeah, <laughs> Dinsmar going to set up for the up air. Finally, American Bowser losing his stock at 208%, though. We're all about numbers. All right. One stock lead to Jake. Oh, wow. He, must have <laughs> he just like, ran up something. and grabbed him. <laughs> Are you just going to stand there and shield? I'll grab you. Nice. Conversion, big damage off the kicks. Yep, I think people hate playing against Zelda just because of the sounds like all her multi hit <laughs> and shiny moves make. It's just so annoying. It's just, like, just like stuck getting 1% over and over. Uh, yeah, the SDI modifiers in this game, a lot of moves actually aren't as uh, capable. Unlike in Melee, where if she up smashes you, you can just slam the stick in multiple directions and get out. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. So can you not ASDI out of like uh, some multi hit moves in this game? Um, yeah, there are some certain moves have uh, modifiers where it actually modifies the amount of distance you go whenever you SDI. Okay. Um, I don't actually know what Zeldas are currently at. I know at one point in time they were lower than normal so that they function as, you know, actual moves. Okay, so basically Smash DI is like not as good in this game as in Melee. Uh, is, there, is it debatable? Yeah. Okay. Depends it, on the character, right? Yeah, it depends on the, the character. Okay. The version of the game. Woo! <laughs> oh, no forward air. Yeah, yeah. If you get the downward hitbox and they don't tech it, you can do another one. There's so much hitstone on that move. Mm. Yeah, high risk, high reward. But uh, it's a pretty sick move. Yeah, it definitely hits extremely hard. Oh, I play the winner of this, apparently. Says the great almighty Typo. They can't hear you, right, Typo? Thank you. Little voices in our head whispering to us.
Yeah, yeah. But going to Barz's Castle, look at the nice stage variation here so that the, the, the lava is blue and the chain is moved into the background. So, the, um, yeah, some people, you know, complain about that. Understandably so, uh, whenever the stage was first, you know, getting put into rotation. All right, he's going to play Sheik now. Yeah, definitely not intentional. <laughs> <laughs> that was a missing but Clanked with something, got some, uh, some weird buttons happening that he did not want. Do you think he should have just, like, tried to, like, get him off stage or something before he transformed back? I mean, obviously, in hindsight, he didn't get punished for it, but... Um, yeah, it was a little bit vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, some vulnerability there, but... Yeah, especially if you're not... I mean, no one's really used to punishing that, because no one really plays Shield anymore, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a small window. Okay. I don't know if, how comfortable Sassy is playing. Oh, yes, see, he's actually out of range of the follow-ups in the cargo throughout these percents, which is very, very good. Normally, DK, like, just destroys your character for free if yeah. the cargo's you at kill percent. In most matchups, he's just looking for grabs and then, like, getting what he can off of it. But in this matchup, it's, it's kind of just, like, spacing aerials and taking trades when he can. Spacing on the up smash there. Yeah. Uh, this matchup and almost all of Sheik's matchups that don't have fast followers are just going to be a spacing game. Okay. Okay, choosing spot dodge. That move is actually unsafe on block. If you shield it. Which move? Uh, the forward air from DK. Assuming he uh, spaces yeah, it properly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right there, it looked like he uh, fast fell, and he didn't even get the hitbox out, so he should have just let it rock. Ooh, okay. nice little teleport mix-up going down through the platform, yeah. and then with punishing the neutral air. Was that a back air or forward air that Zelda got? Um, did, you, did you see it? I didn't see it. Hard to say. But they're almost identical, so I think back air does a tiny bit more percent. But yeah. It looked like a... Jake kind of put himself in a bad spot right before he died. So, uh... Okay, nice spear burst on the neutral B, making it safe. Zelda's neutral B, yeah, it's really good, but uh, if you do it on the ground especially, uh, and you miss, high risk, high reward, you'll get hit. Huh. Yeah, nice big hitboxes. Okay. Jake kind of gave up stage there. Uh, he got kind of scared by the fireball, maybe more than he should have been. Okay. It seems like, uh... These guys are not, uh, they could anticipate more where their opponent's going to go. Mm -hmm. You know, it, uh, like, it kind of looks like um, he keeps trying to call out movement. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just, like, part of the matchup, but... Yeah, it doesn't kind of work. DK isn't actually that great at approaching whenever, like, you sit down and think about it. Outside of grab, obviously. Yeah. His grab is tremendously good. Um, His hitboxes are all really good, but, like, if you can exploit them, they're pretty insane. Uh -huh. Like, dash attack. <laughs> he just like rolled and he was like, yeah, yeah, he knew he was stuck, so the roll was pretty safe. And oh. uh, it looks funny, but I like this. Nice neutral air covering the ledge, get up. Oh, but miss spaces the up yeah. that's big. Bringing it right back to Yeah, Devin. these guys have been dying at high hypersense a lot. 98% uh, is not so bad, but yes. Okay. okay. Reluctant to do the forward throw, back throw mix up instead of actually getting the cargo up there, which is probably a good choice. It's smart, yeah. He, I think he's realizing he's not getting as much off of it as he might want. Maybe he, he can even maybe down throw tech chase. Mm. I'm gonna get a little bit of damage off that, but gets kicked going for the double neutral air. He's getting a little bit too greedy with the follow up. Okay, DK's got a punch. Let's see if we can figure out when he's gonna throw it out. Yeah, if he does land it, that will be. Yeah, they land it. Okay. <laughs> A lot of, I think a lot of players, especially when they're playing on stream, get really excited when they got a big move like that ready because they're like, oh, uh, yeah. I can get a stock It's going to be so cool. Yeah, it's going to be so cool when I punch you. <laughs> You're not even going to see it coming. Okay. No double. Oh, he did have a double jump. He tricked me. Yeah, definitely. Hesitated just a little bit before using it. Yeah, smart. He's kind of maybe baiting. Okay, nice. Ooh, good nice follow combination, yeah. He reacted very well to uh, the mistake or whatever just happened. Okay, wow. dash attack not safe. Not a low percent. Okay, yeah, that side be definitely gonna be kind of goaltending the ledge there. It's a good choice for American Bowser to go on stage instead. Yeah, he Sassy got kind of stuck in the lag from that animation, and he was able to get back. So good, re good recognition. Mm -hmm. does, oh, well, yeah. I was about to say he does have to find some way to finish this stock, but that kick yeah, yeah, will yeah, definitely yeah. do it. Yeah, DK's out of here. Now, I really like the blue in this stage, just like aesthetically. Besides the fact uh, that people were complaining about. Uh -huh. Not being able to see on it. I think it looks nice. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. It's like lava is not supposed to be blue, water is supposed to be blue. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled on accident. Oh, they're done. <laughs> a little bit of a club there. I'm 
really glad they made like the air dodge animation so funny. Donkey Kong just <laughs> yeah. throws his hands up and he's like, what do I do now? What's happening? Am I dead? Yeah. Okay, get back here. Yeah, we can fire flying off the right Very side of the Oh, okay, that's going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're both at like a last hit scenario. Like every any hit either of them would have got would have sitting them off stage. Yep. Very close game. Bowser, okay. Do you think this is gonna be good for him? I don't I don't know if he wanted to switch or if he's just like trying to have fun playing two characters. Yeah, I'm not sure. He has been bouncing back back and forth between the two characters today. Yeah. Um Doing I think some soul searching maybe. Yeah, since DK doesn't actually get cargo throw kill combos on Zelda, this might actually be a better matchup. That's true. Yeah, he can. Uh, I feel like Bowser gets more playing the spacing game than Donkey Kong because yes. Donkey Kong needs grabs. Yeah, and I feel like there's really no point in uh, playing a grab heavy character against Zelda. At least not Don Donkey Kong. Yep. Definitely a very awkward. Matchup. Okay. Big call out. Uh, wasn't able to read his movement. Quit by the up smash though. Sassy getting so much damage off these close range up smashes. So in this matchup, it seems Zelda's going to get a lot from stage control. So somehow American Bowser's just going to have to move his big body around it. Yeah, yeah. Bowser is a slower character than DK, so it will be a little bit harder to get through uh, Zelda's like long range zoning. Although I feel like Bowser be, definitely yeah. does have the buttons to challenge her. He does, yeah. If he can get good trades, but uh, it's it's hard. You know, Zelda isn't really fast, but she can float around and has really long uh, hitboxes. Yes. Yeah, and I got some tricky ways to move around. Those teleport cancels. Lots okay. of space control beside me. Barely got that up smash though. Downbeat? Nope. Probably no follow up, yeah. Too high percent. Very oh, wanted to do the fall. Right there, Sassy. Ooh. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> These combos, though. That was right. big, don't forget. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that almost blew up. That almost that almost, almost was a thing. Okay, I, I like that new be a lot. Sassy, yes. Sassy's definitely feeling it. He can, he can tell Jake Clan's getting frustrated. Yeah, That's what the JL stands for, those who aren't in the know. It's not Jake Long. That's just nice. <laughs> a little bit too out of the fire though. That's not going to stop because there's a B. Nope. <laughs> a little flavor damage on the fire hitting him in his armor. Yeah, yeah. Not that Zelda really needs at this point in time. One good kick will be a uh, very hard seal of the stock. Did you see him uh, Zelda B reverse in there? Do you think there was a point to that? or? Um, I've had to replay the situation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, he's been, yeah, he's yeah. been using a lot of beer versus neutral beats. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, very, very safe since he's got such big hitboxes moving away with it. Okay, he gets back on. This is an old cancel though. Shielding on a platform. See, he had to run like all the way around the stage just to almost get a hit. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a frustrating matchup for like Patricia. So, uh, Jake can definitely win if he just keeps his head in the game. Good up, he had a shield. It's going to be a kill move in uh, like 40%. Oh. Yeah, a little bit too far away from the upbeat, but two. So there was Zelda, okay, a very okay. slow character. Oh, nice. Oh, it gets clipped by that forward air. Jake's got a game plan. Correctly. just going to upbeat. It's working. Upbeat follow-up. All right, stuck on this platform. Can you get down? Jake does a tech. Because he needs to start looking to yeah. end this suck. That was a really important tech to miss when he just kind of landed on the ground. OK. Air dodge. OK, he's back in center stage. Oh, very nice air dodge. Yeah, Zelda's air dodge is really good. Uh, I, I don't know what makes what's like the metric for how good your air dodge is, but Zelda's is really good. Yeah, yeah, I think the movement is the big thing for her. Since uh, a lot of characters, when they air dodge, they air dodge, and then there's like a little bit of a pause before they can actually do anything. Mm -hmm. And Zelda doesn't really have much of that. So. Oh, I got you. Yeah, there's and she the, has really good aerial drift, like Wario and yes. this up, right? Yeah. So that's why it's so good. Okay. Uh, American Bowser gets away with a roll in. Um, but he's still uh, kind of getting zoned out here. Yeah, looking to uh, use the top platform to make his way. Do you think? Do you think having a flat stage would help Bowser in this matchup? I think it might. Um, maybe. Because he's getting, he's getting, he's having a really hard time uh, buying for stage control. But I guess also Zelda can control aerial space. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's actually like, when he's moving around the platforms like that, it, he doesn't have actual center stage control. But he's not also really in the range that Zelda's been threatening. Um, she, she doesn't have too much that she can use to threaten the, the top platform battlefield. She can up air you, but it's got yeah. a lot of startup, so it's yeah, that's fairly, true. Uh, fairly if, he, if he misses it, it's punishable. So. Yes. I gotcha. Okay, putting out the big meaty fist. Nice teleport. Sassy doing a very good job mixing up how he's landing. Yeah, it's really, can, really crucial against Bowser. He can choose to land on the um, on the platform or under it, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Okay, yeah, whether or not it's gonna air dodge or teleport or use neutral B or just fall with hitboxes. Oh, the raw up smash. Almost enough. Uh, maybe the maybe good DI, maybe not enough. Okay, teleports down. All right. Does not DI the throw correctly, throw. but makes Sassy stand up. <laughs> yes, Sassy got a little scared there. <laughs> there we go. Last stock. This is a little, potentially the last stock of both of these players. Whoever gets the kill here, we'll take it. All right, guys. Do you want to win Bowser or Zelda? I can see. We can see chat, by the way. I just noticed. Oh yeah, see, yeah, there's chat. Okay. Patient Bowser just staying center stage. We're getting clipped by that Zelda up smash. It's going to be a lot of damage. If you get caught in that up smash as a big character, yeah, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's... He's throwing oh, out... Just I'd, outside yeah. of range. Let's hope uh, American Bowser can keep his cool. Sassy can keep his cool. These guys are obviously both very excited. Okay. Ooh, dash attack. Nice Off stage. Up. Okay. Safe air dodge. He barely got that shield out. Wow. Oh. And that's going to be it. Yeah. Sassy takes it over America. Very close game. Very close. I wouldn't really be too upset. Both character, both both players kind of made similar mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Sassy was a stronger man this game.